again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. <laughs>
Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go.
Did you see that? Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. <laughs> Be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake me pick at. Darn shame, too, because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. <laughs>
Would you look at that? Some fool hit a dang gum egg in me treasure. You're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang has challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Fun! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the square button. Good luck! beat these guys with my tail tied behind my back. I hope you do better this time, or we'll never live it down. All right, let them have it.
Yes! You schooled them like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Oh yeah, I guess we won this egg too. <laughs> Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? All right! Eat my skate dust, sucker! I can't believe you beat me! You must have been practicing the whole time I thought you were looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one.
for these here waters used to be my favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Alrighty then. I'll press the X button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the circle button. I'll be darned! You got some mean sub driving skills! Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there be even more subs that darn come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Darn tootin'! Get on, little dragon!
lake is safe for swimming again. <laughs> I wish I could reward you better, but all I got's left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. <laughs> <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. <laughs> The first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes, 
<clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <laughs> One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during absence. <laughs> Hey bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. <laughs> Have a gong! Great! I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one! <laughs> Bye. 
Hey, Brainiac, you're supposed to be smart. Why don't you try pushing those blocks around to bridge that gap? Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Welcome to Frozen Altar, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around, building ice walls and generally causing trouble. Easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Spyro, I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a yeti. <laughs> that dumb yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, I know you do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. You 
lost! showed him. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't my ball. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time it'll be a free round match and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg! Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great! Last round! Finish him off! My ball? It's just another stupid egg!
Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy-weensy markup. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. <laughs> I challenged a Rhinoch to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Well done. 
I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. <laughs> If we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. <laughs> Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to.
no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. <laughs> I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seeds?
last, I found the legendary Golden Goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. Prince Azrael run into the castle. We have to stop him before he reaches the princess. just the dreamiest. The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went.
day, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? <laughs> Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. <laughs> I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, be careful, okay? <laughs> You did it, James. I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Hello, I thought you might be hungry. Thanks! Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs! You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't.
again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind.
Osiris has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the professor's rocket. power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
out of the molten lava. See an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these Winox to get to it. It. I've had enough. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes, 
It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh, yes! Smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> that doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. <laughs> Bianca, did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no to that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. 
You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. I never thought we were gonna hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Thank you.